a significant architectural distinction between driver assistance and automated driving systems is how failures are handled. For driver assistance features, it's normally sufficient for those features to fail silent. What this means is that if the driver assistance feature cannot operate properly, it needs to detect that it has a problem and then shut down that feature so that the driver can continue to drive without the feature causing problems. In other words, it's sufficient for the computer to fail silent and not affect vehicle operation if there's a problem. When switching to a fully automated system, the computer controls the vehicle. There's no driver continuously in the loop overseeing vehicle operation. That means that a computer failure has to result in a system that can still maintain control, in other words, fail operational. There's a reason that aircraft have two engines. That's so that if one of the engines stops working, the other engine is sufficient to continue operation and land the aircraft. In aircraft, after you lose an engine, you do not continue your 12-hour flight across the Pacific Ocean. Rather, you find the nearest airport that's suitable and you land as soon as you can. The same thing can be expected of automated vehicles. If they have a major computer failure, they can be expected to move to some sort of degraded mode and not continue an extra long mission during which there's too high a probability of other computers failing. This even affects SAE Level 3 vehicles. If there's a computer failure that prompts a takeover request, the vehicle still has to remain under control while it waits for the driver to take over control, or lacking that, performing some sort of maneuver to reduce the risk. That means that if one computer dies, there needs to be another computer ready to take over. That requires potentially more redundancy than a conventional vehicle, and it requires different fault management. On automated vehicles, computers no longer just fail silent. They have to fail operational and keep working at least for a little while to do something to mitigate the failure rather than leaving the vehicle uncontrolled at highway speed.